How's it going guys, my name's Venom, welcome back to Medieval Engineers. So last time, uh, we were going to build a church and stuff, but then lots of things fell down, uh, which is very dramatic and obviously very, very sad. So we, we spent uh, last episode rebuilding uh, the main hall at Vader Hall, because that may have fallen down quite a bit. So we rebuilt it. Um, I just, I've never seen this guy run before, that looks really weird. Uh, but we didn't fill anything on the inside, so I'm going to start off today by just putting some furniture in here real quick. Let's like, actually just do that now real quickly. <laughs> I think that looks good. So, what we're going to do today, now that the hall is rebuilt, is we're going to do what we were going to do last time, is build a church. So I think we're going to build a church if I go into flying mode. We're going to build a church sort of here, so it'll be like the chapel for the actual uh, Lord of Vader Hall himself. Uh, but obviously the peasants will allow them up every now and again, they can come worship too. So we're going to build that here. So I'm going to make a little hole in the wall here, and then we're going to build on this... Wait, why the... How the hell do those barrels get there? That's weird. Ooh, away. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna build like above this sort of mound of rock here. Hopefully that won't be too annoying. But anyway, I'm gonna uh, I guess just get started with that because I have nothing else to say. Okay, turns out that little block thing, not strong enough to support the tower. Let's carefully, carefully, very, very carefully deconstruct this. Figure out a way to do this. Hmm. Um, oh shit, we need to get rid of all this as well. Oh, this is going to go so badly. Hey, what fell down? Oh, it's the stairs and other things. Okay. Oh, then bring my tower down. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. Wait, I want to get rid of the stuff. Get rid. Are we all good? Oh, what the hell? Oh, no. Not the floor. Uh, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Uh, Yeah, I think it's fine. I can't get one in there. Is there a such thing as a curved wall? Yes. Okay, that's what I wanted. Get one of these. Oh, where does that go? Um, Here. And we'll use... Why didn't the pillar thing work? Do you think I can just suspend the wall or is this going to fall down as well? Because if this falls down... Uh, uh, don't like... Maybe if I just start it higher up it might be better. If I do it there... That's the only place it needs to be. But let's do the top one as well. Oh god. Hopefully it's just supported from the sides and it's not pushing downwards. Because if it's pushing downwards it's just going to collapse the whole thing. Hopefully this is fine. <laughs> Hmm. 
I just realized I need to figure out a way to do the roof. So it's going to have like towers in all four corners, as you can see. Uh, but then I want to have like a, like, I don't know how to describe it, like a flat roof, but with a pointy bit in the middle. So it's like flat round the outside and then using these ramps in the middle. Um, but I don't know how to go about this. So I want like this, this down the center. I don't know how the hell that's standing up. Let's not question it. Um, so I want that like in the middle. Don't fall down, don't fall down, don't fall down. Seems to be fine, because you see that on buildings, I feel like. So hopefully that's good. Weather, what the hell? Um, oh, I made bad things happen. Every time. It just takes one, one misclick. And then everything dies. So painfully slowly. Hopefully what's going to happen is this central bit's going to fall down. And it's going to crack the floor. But hopefully the rest of the church will not fall down. Oh. That may have been a bit optimistic of me to say that. Hmm. Let's get rid of all the bits of debris. The fractures. Let's see what we've got left. Oh yes, it's left a big hole in the floor. Um, and we've got some floating pillar. Lovely. Oh no, it, it realised. Brilliant. Uh, now we've just got this lovely massive piece of roof. Go away. Get out of my church. There we go. Okay. Just get rid of this pillar, because cause that's pretty much dead. Oh, shit. I wonder how far down this destruction has gone. Let's get rid of the fractures again, because I feel like there's more. Yeah, okay. So we need to somehow get rid of all this floor and refloor the floor. Yes. Let's get rid of everything what's smashed. Oh, God, no, I can't get rid of that one, because the whole wall will fall down. Let's do it really quick. I think that's fine. I think I think that's a valid tactic. Okay, let's continue. Getting floor. It's it's so hard to do a complete build without screwing it up just because it's so easy. As you saw, like I was aiming at what I wanted and I slightly did it too far down and it put a block in a place you can't have a block and then and then end of church time. What the hell? Why am I getting this weird diagonal bits? Oh I think there's a bit of pillar in there. Is oh yes there is. Let's get that. Oh, I got it, that's cool. Okay, let's get rid of fractures one last time. Oh, so these bits on the floor are not fractures, they're pieces of pillar. So let's do- oh, I just made a hole in the floor. And the last one. No, and the last one. And the last one. Any more. Any more. Anything down that hole. No, I think it's fine. Okay, let's fill the floor back in. See if we can get back to where we just were. Okay, so we've got the pillars. What I'm going to try and do, instead of doing what I did just then, because that, that may have broken the church quite a bit, is I'm going to use some of these roofs, because hopefully they're lighter and will not collapse my building. So let's get some of these instead. Uh, and stick these here. Hopefully, this creates the desired effect without the undesired side effect of uh, destroy. Oh, come on. Okay, weird. Oh, I, need to, I need to hold down Alt to get it in the middle there. It doesn't doesn't like making complete roofs apparently. Do this and do that. So that's what I wanted down the middle. This sort of roofy thing. And actually, I'll continue that. But we need to somehow get the rest of the roof. I don't know how we're gonna do that. I think if I use where are they? That's not the right button. G is the right button. If I use these things and do this. What number did I put? Oh, it's on the right one. If I do this around the side, don't fall down. Seems good to me. And the same the other side. Cool, and the same at the end. So let's, just, let's just actually have a check that nothing has fallen down. Ah, uh, no, it seems good. I'm just thinking, actually, rather than having this this weird little piece of roof in the middle, if I get the roof, let's delete all this stuff first without it falling down. Uh, huh? I think it's fine. I think it's fine. So, uh, because I made it an even number wide, I believe the church is six blocks wide. Um. It means we can make the roof without having to use, where are they? We can make the roof without having to use these like middle pieces because I have a feeling those are what caused the roofs to crack because they're like tying the two sides of the roof together. I'm not explaining this well. I feel like it's like overstressing the roof and it's like pulling it together too much and that's why the roofs keep sort of like popping. So maybe I'm actually gonna get rid of these things because these things scare me. Oh, it's gonna delete the top part of the wall, isn't it? Yep, oh, that's, at least it's not falling down. And then we get this roof and we can literally just go, actually I'm going to need to build more pillars. So if we put the first bit on, 
the side. So it's going to look something like this. We do that, and then how tall is the pillar going to need to be? Uh, the pillars need to go up by one, two more. Yeah, up by two more. Not entirely sure if that's correct. And then uh, we get the more bits of roof, and we do it like this. Oh yeah, no, that's correct. I did the. Oh no, it, it deleted the pillar. Didn't didn't enjoy that. Maybe that's supporting it in some weird way. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should actually hold down Alt and then like merge the roof and the pillar together. Or maybe the roof just holds itself up. Um, no, I'm gonna do like. I don't want to crack the roof though. Oh, it's so hard to. There's you have to get the balance between supporting things, but also not smashing them by supporting them too much. It's a very it's a very tricky thing to get right. And then we get the pillar, such as like this. Does it smash the roof? Uh, uh, I don't think it is gonna. No, I think that's good. I think that's what I wanted. Is it sticking out the roof a tiny bit? But that's fine. I'm gonna leave it like that. I think that looks. Um, I was gonna say cool. It looks correct. Is what it looks like. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I've done a stupid. How the hell? Do I... oh, it looks like a chimney. I guess I could leave it there, but I no, I don't like it. Go away! Oh, I didn't delete the. Oh, what the hell! Roof building is by far the most precarious part of this game. Or well, actually, just basically doing anything at heights, anything that's not firmly attached to the ground, is the most precarious part of this game. Okay, and now, hopefully, that's only too wide. So we can finish off the roof, hopefully. What did I just do? We can finish off the roof, if I could get the thing in the right place. Just like... Oh no, go there, go there, go, go. You know, you know, you know where I want you to go. Just do it, just do it. Just go right about there. Oh, God damn it. Oh, the one place it won't go is the one place it needs to go. How the hell am I going to get it in the right place? Oh, it's there. Yes, there. So, go. Oh, no. There. Hold down click. Hold down control. Drag it the whole way across. Oh, we have a roof. And for now, it's a complete roof of no kind of cracks in it. For now. Um, and then, I think we should now build the towers up. So let's, let's continue building the towers and hopefully they don't screw anything up. Nothing's fallen down, the tires are in place. So now what we need to do is we need to get the last piece of roof in here. Actually no, we need to we need to finish off the towers with like the inside bits. So let's get some of this in there. Drag it up. Did I bring down the roof? Not yet. It looks kind of annoying that the, the uh, towers aren't square the whole way around, but those are uh, whatchamacallums, these blocks. They're like the square ones with the curve on the inside, they're just too heavy. Okay, now the towers are complete. I want to get the last piece of roof in with this end bit, so that's going to be here, yes, there, and also there. Oh no, two of them, go to two. Why three? Why would I want that? Fine, we should do it like this. Uh, go there, yes, there, good. And the same on the other side. Oh, <laughs> how is that working? That shouldn't, shouldn't be working knowing this game. Okay. Roof is complete. Again, we have the issue with holes at the end of the roof. I don't know what would be a good way to sort that. Maybe I should make these sort of stained glass window things taller. If I just now take this to the ceiling, you see what I mean? Um, just sort of like, nope, like that. Well, that's kind of sensible, almost. Yeah, I think it does. Nice, okay, so that's the church complete. I'm hesitant to say, but I think it looks Good. Weirdly. Maybe the tower should be taller. I'm gonna leave it like that for now, because you know to play anything else I do is gonna cause the whole thing to come down. It's a it's a pretty large structure as it is already. It must be the biggest building so far. I think so. I kinda wanna you see what I've done on the slide of Vader Hall here, is I made these like stilty things. Uh I kinda wanna do that here, but that involves like digging into the side, like it involves deleting this block here. Uh, and I have a feeling if I were to do that, it would bring down like half the church. So I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, I think... 
I think maybe we're done for today. I could always try and put some pews inside. I don't have pews, but we can we can put some chairs inside. Yes, medieval interior decoration simulator. Due to uh due to limited furniture options, the priest of Vader Hall. You need to like one of those raised up altars. How would I do that? With a barrel, I think. I think that's about the only way we can do that. So if we make just hmm hmm this may look this may look weird, but I think that's the point. So if we do some barrels like this. Yeah, and then some more barrels in front of it. So you jump on the back barrels are like the steps up, and then the front barrels make up the altar itself. So look, the priest, the priest comes around here, and he just hops up on the, he hops up on the, mm, he hops up on the barrels. Oh god damn it! Maybe I need a chair. I need a chair as a little step up. No one needs to know. No one needs to know that that's there. Let's just stick that in there. So he just hops up on. The barrel like this and gives a sermon to all the residents of Vader Hall. I mean, we could we could put in rows of chairs, but that that would probably be quite tedious. How how long does it take to put in chairs? Oh, you can't hold down control. No, I'm not putting in. I'm not putting in the chairs individually today. We can do that some other time. So anyway, today we have somehow successfully built a church. No doubt, uh, probably next time I turn the game on, it will fall down. But for now. We have a church at Vader Hall, and it has some weird flowers growing in the pavement outside. But anyway, I think that's kind of... Actually, let's put some... Just... Just because, uh... Being a bit pernickety, if that's the word I think it means. Uh, let's put some walls here. Please don't bring down the whole church. Yes! So, we have a church. I'm going to end. I'm going to stop talking before I break something. This has been Medieval Engineers. I've been Vader, and I'll see you guys later.